Google gets a ton of attention and even adoration for giving away free services in exchange for our personal private data. Apple doesn't want anything to do with personal and private data. When you buy something from Apple, just like stickers and cables come in the box, hundreds of millions of dollars of free educational courses and probably billions in free apps and services, everything you need to start exploring code and photography and video and music and much, much more also comes invisibly in the same box. If you think Apple products are too expensive, this is where some of that money goes. So you should absolutely get in on all of it, all the free classes and training and take that money back. Even if you've never bought an Apple product, you can still get all of it, all of it for free. I'm Renee Ritchie, welcome back to Vector. Did you know your kids and you could go to Apple and for free, learn the basics of a new hobby or job? Well, you can, and here's how. Apple has offered free training at Apple stores for a long time now. Years ago, when I still had a day job downtown, I went to the Apple store after work and took the Final Cut Pro course because I hadn't really done much beyond iMovie since the days of the video toaster. And it was great, so great that, well, just look at what I'm doing now. But following the big Johnny Ive and Angel Aaron's redesign of a couple of years ago, Apple really began amping up its educational efforts, devoting an extensive amount of prime front of house real estate, some of the most valuable sales space in all of retail, to a new program spearheaded by Today at Apple. Our in-store experience designed to inspire customers to go even further with their passions. We started with things that are core to Apple's DNA, things people most use their devices for, and they trust us to teach them. Like photography, music, gaming, and app development. It keeps growing and becoming so much more. Video, music, and design have all been expanded, and we're adding walks and labs to most categories. And of course, we're using Apple's latest technologies, like AR and Siri shortcuts. Over the years, there have been plenty of stories about people beginning second and new careers based off what they started learning at Apple. And with the expanded programs, I expect the stories will become way more expansive as well. Beyond that, one of the areas that Apple has shown extensive attention to and focus on has been kids. Hour of Code is one of the most prominent examples. Apple's been participating in the event for a few years now, originally using web-based tools and techniques, but more recently focusing on its still newish free Swift Playgrounds app for iPad and all the free lessons it's been releasing to go along with it. For the last couple of years, I've gone to my local Apple store with my school-aged god kids to sit in on Hour of Code. This year, well, I'll get to this year in a minute. In stores that have the new forums, kids and their parents gather around the ginormous displays on the geometric seating in older stores, tables and chairs serve the exact same purpose. Since the very first year, the one hour long workshops consisted of a series of code based puzzles that kids needed to solve. And not in an on rails way either. The children have to make choices, test potential solutions. And if they make a mistake, debug it and try again, because that's how you really learn to code. Since then, things have escalated beyond characters on screen as well. Now Sphero robots have been added to the curriculum, and there's nothing quite like seeing kids learn that they can command R2-D2 and BB-8, not with an app, but with the code that makes apps. At some of the bigger stores, Apple also brings in local developers to work with and inspire the children. This year, I went to Hour of Code at Apple Laval, and a couple of the developers from Budge Studios, famous for its kids' games and the new Transformers Bumblebee game, were there to answer questions before the hour began and to work with the kids until well after it ended. In previous years, my god kids have asked, why couldn't it be two hours of code? This year, I saw several kids say the same thing, including a large group of young girls, which all sorts of programs from App Camp for Girls to Girls Can Code have been working for years to provide more exposure to and opportunities for coding experience. The teachers really liked it as well, because Apple doesn't just do yearly hour of code. It also has a program called Field Trips, where entire classes can come in and learn. According to the staff of a local French elementary school I spoke with, it's a huge benefit to them because they don't yet have a coding program in-house. I also hadn't realized this, but not all of the material had previously been available in languages other than English. But as Apple has become more and more involved, not just with Playgrounds itself, but a ton of the supplemental course material is being made available in a much wider range of languages, with more and more coming each year. Hour of Code happens for a couple weeks once a year, but Apple hosts free lessons and free training on coding for kids and adults all year long. In fact, it has a fairly new course on prototyping that's straight out of some of my favorite WWDC sessions past. I can't believe it's in the stores, but I'm so delighted that it is. If you don't have an Apple store near you, you can still download the free Swift Playgrounds app and go through all the free course material. 
If you work in a school, Apple also has free course material available for both of its initiatives. Everyone can code and everyone can create. If you want or need more training, there is Skillshare. I mentioned getting started with Final Cut at a local Apple store. Well, Skillshare has a bunch of courses that you can use to take it to the next level for vlogging, for full-on studio productions, for everything. If video isn't your thing, Skillshare has over 20,000 classes in design, business, technology, and more. Premium membership gives you unlimited access so you can get better at your job, get a better job, or just learn something that is not your job. Visit the link in the description below and the first 500 of you get two months of unlimited access for free. Act now and start learning today. Thanks Skillshare and thanks to all of you for supporting the show. It's not just one of Apple's biggest products, it's one of the least known and least taken advantage of, especially when it comes to things like field trips for schools and Apple Camp, which it runs every year for kids. So make sure you let your friends know, let your schools know, let everyone know, pick some classes, get some people together, take your kids and go, go, go. At least that's what I think. Now I'd love to hear what you think. Have you gone to Hour of Code? Gone on a photo walk? Taken a prototyping class? Made some music? Spent today at Apple? Will you now? Hit like, hit subscribe, and then hit up the comments below and let me know. And thank you so much for watching.